Hello guys, Mr. Agophobia. Today I thought I'd share my DPS build that you use for Heroic Countdown. You can use it for challenging if you want, I just do Heroic Countdown all the time. Because it's easy with this build. But uh, I've showed you my support builds, but I've not showed you what DPS build that I've used. But uh, if you want to know what build it is guys, stick around. If you like my content, like and subscribe, and let's get into the video. So our first piece of gear guys, is the Chill Out Mask. If you don't have the chill out mask, I'd recommend you use the coyotes mask, the exotic. But uh, the chill out mask I'm using, Gila Guard, one piece is 5% total armor, which always helps. Core attribute is blue, if you can, roll that to a red. The attributes are 6% critical chance, and they have two mods, and they're 12% protection from elite, so that's 24% already. So the chest piece I'm using is the Striker Battle Gear. Two piece is 15% weapon handling. Three piece is 15% rate of fire. And four piece is Striker's Gamble. Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%. It will be 1% because I'm running the backpack as well, so 100% weapon damage. One stacks lost per second between 0 and 50 stacks. Two stacks lost per second between 50 and 100 stacks. But uh, because I'm running the chest piece guys, we get press the advantage, increases max stacks for strike or scout and ball from 100 to 200. 3 stacks lost per second between 100 and 200 stacks. So your build will hit really, really hard considering you don't have much crit damage. So core attribute is 14.9% weapon damage. Attribute is 6% critical hit chance. And the mod is 13% protection from elites. So our second piece of striker is the backpack. Our core attribute is 13.6% weapon damage. You can max all these things out guys, this is just a template. So the attribute is 6% critical hit chance and 13% protection from elites. And then the talent on the backpack is increases total weapon damage gained per stack of striker's gamble from 0.65% to 1%. So altogether we'll get 200% weapon damage and most of the time you'll be at the top of the stacks. You'll have your stacks maxed out. So our third piece of gear are the gloves. 14.1% weapon damage, 6% critical hit chance. Our final piece of striker are the knee pads. Core attribute is 15% weapon damage, and the attribute is 12% critical hit damage. I would replace that with 6% critical hit chance because crit always hit harder than non-crit. Because this build you won't have much crit chance, that's why all my pieces have critical hit chance on them. But uh, if you replace this with 6% critical hit chance, you'll get to 56% critical hit chance. With the gun that I'm using anyway. And then the holster that I'm using is the improvised holster. You can you can craft these at the crafting bench, guys, if you don't know how to get them. Core attributes are 15% weapon damage. Attribute is 6% critical hit chance and 12% critical hit damage. And we have another 12% protection from elite mod. So the weapon that I'm using to get the stacks guys is the rock and roll named ACS 12 shotgun core attribute is 15% shotgun damage 8% damage to armor 10% damage to targets out of cover and the talent for this gun is perfectly extra 50% magazine capacity I'm only using this gun guys just to get the stacks that's it that's why I am. I'm using this gun instead of a, a default shotgun with a damage talent and uh, the mods are critical hit chance, both of them. So the main weapon that I'm using is the Scorpio Exotic Shotgun. A lot of people will be controversial about running two shotguns, but because there's restocks everywhere in Countdown, it's not really a problem. It's why I run a shotgun and another shotgun to get the stats really quick at the start. So the Scorpio. So core attributes are 15% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, 10% damage targets out of cover, and if you don't have this gun yet, it, the talent is set to shot. Shooting a target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. 1 poison, 3 disorient, 6 shot, 7 targets takes additional 20% damage from all sources. Stacks no longer increase. Duration of stats effects is based on percentage of pellets hit on applying shot. 
those are the mods that are on it as well. The reason I use a, a shotgun guys with another shotgun is because shotguns hit really really hard as you'll see in the gameplay. In the background I can kill a an elite on heroic in one clip with the shotgun and it's super quick at reloading. Unlike a M870 for example it takes time to reload. This gun, the Scorpio, is really quick at reloading. So the sidearm I'm using, the pistol, is a D50. Core attributes are at 11.8% pistol damage and 8% damage to target cover. That's not really relevant, you won't really be using it to damage it. enemies. Uh, the only reason I'm using the D50 is because it hits the hardest. And the talent is sledgehammer, dealing damage with a grenade, applies a mark on targets. Targets with a mark will take 30% more damage to armor and have minus 20% movement speed, mark will disappear after 10 seconds. So I'm using this for mainly the end of the match guys, the extraction where you can just spam grenades at the hunters and when the helicopters dropping off enemies you can just throw a flame grenade at the bottom because we're using survivalist it will keep procking the talent, sledgehammer and all your teammates will do extra damage as well which is always good. So the first skill I'm using is the Crusader Ballistic Shield. I'm only tier 1 because we have the blue from the mask. But it doesn't really matter because the protection from elites you have with all the mods and from the specialization. Uh, the shield actually sponges it all. It applies to the shield, the protection from elites. And 99.9% .9 of enemies in Heroic Countdown are elites. So like your shield will feel really tanky. And you won't even be like T6, you'll be T1. Second skill that I've got is Riot Foam. We have two of them, Ammo 2. Those are the mods there, but we're tier 0. But the only reason we have Riot Foam guys is just to get easy stacks. So when you enter an objective, just foam the first enemy you see and get your stacks on them. Because if you use the rock and roll, a whole clip should get you full stacks. Or at least about 90% of your stacks. And then... Uh, just swap to your other gun and just uh, kill everybody because it will keep your stacks up because how, ma how many pellets you shoot with a shotgun but this is the overall build guys 4 piece striker, a lot of people run stuff like this but uh, this is my DPS build I use in countdown specifically like other content I use different builds but we have the backpack and we have the chest so we get 200% weapon damage we have 5 reds and we have five mods with protection from elites We're using the rock and roll shotgun to get stacks to 200 percent really quick and then we swap to the scorpio you can swap to a different weapon if you want like an smg or anything if it's an smg i'd recommend changing all your attributes on your gear to crit damage not crit chance the only reason i've got crit chance is because you get hardly none with the scorpio Crits always hit harder than non-crits, so mine is crit chance. But uh, I'll show you the stats now, guys. So we have 50% critical hit chance, but if I had f critical hit chance on the knee pads, it would be 56%. But uh, that's the Scorpio. But we'll scroll down. So our protection from elites is 72% protection from elites guys. Just to let you know the cap is 80% protection from elites. So if we go above that it won't give you any more protection. But uh, I'll scroll down the rest of the stats for you now. So the specialization we're using guys is the survivalist, the one with a crossbow reason we're using that is because we get a 15% increased shotgun damage, pistol damage and I just picked a random one because I'm using two shotguns but if you're using a different type of weapon like an SMG you just select the SMG. Another reason we're using survivalist is because we get flame grenades and because we have sledgehammer on the pistol it the, these grenades last ages so it will proc sledgehammer multiple times on the enemies the med kit's decent as well armor kits now repair over 5 seconds instead of instant instantly 
but also apply it to group members within 20 meters. And then we get uh, the other reason and main reason we're using the specialization survivalist is because we get 10% increased protection from elites so uh, that helps with the build a lot so this build guys you'll feel really really tanky in heroic countdown because they're all elites and you'll have loads and loads of damage and you'll have even more damage if you don't have chill out mask and you replace it with coyotes for example you're also benefiting your team but uh, this is the build that I use in countdown guys but uh, DPS wise anyway but uh, I have different builds for countdown if I want crowd control or if I want my like, support bonus for your teammates but, uh, let me know what you think of my build guys in the comments but uh, thanks for watching guys and happy hunting